Good evening, everyone. Thanks for jumping on. We're joined by club captain Jack Price. We'll start off with his general thoughts on tonight's game and then go to questions. Yeah, I feel like we're saying it a lot, a lot recently. You know, we're disappointed again to drop two points. We've just had a good chat in the changing room about where do we want to be in the next nine games, and we feel like we're just not doing enough, including myself, every single person. You know, we, I know we've come a long way, and we're disappointed now with a draw instead of a loss, but it's still, it's not enough. Like people are going to say we're unbeaten in eleven, but we know we should be climbing this table, and we should be top by by a few points now. And we're on the performance tonight. It wasn't from the lack of trying. You know, we. Every single man busts a gut out there. We, we try our best week in, week out, but we just didn't do enough on the attacking side. We didn't create enough chances. And at home, we have to. We have to be aggressive. And from the start, we didn't do enough from the start tonight. And we're waiting for the last 20 minutes, 10 minutes, 20 minutes to go out teams. And it just wasn't enough. And you know, like I said again, we're saying it a bit too much recently, but we're, we're very disappointed again with tonight. We've got a questions. We'll start with Matt Pollard, last word on soccer. Hey Jack, thanks for the time. Uh, how's uh, Lucas been? Uh, obviously tonight had a good game, wasn't able to score, but uh, how's he integrating the team? You say Lucas, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's been a great addition, you know. It's not easy coming to a new country and not understanding the language and he's learning and he's, and I've said it before, he, it, it, doesn't, make, it doesn't matter what language he speaks. He, he knows the game and like you see in his performance again tonight, He's aggressive going forward. He, he knows how to defend, and we're really happy to have him. We, we, think, we think he gives us a good, a good balance going forward and, and, you know, and defending. And like I said, another good solid performance from the lad tonight. And yeah, he's, he's a great addition to us, and we know he's got more in him as well. So we're, we're looking forward to seeing that. I've got a Brian Jennings bearing the wave. David Jack, hey, um, you kind of made mention of it there, you know, second half, almost. I don't want to say like, like you see, almost waiting to get going, but second half we we saw a little more direct play, maybe a little more urgency. Um, let's kind of look at that where where we're looking to kind of open them up a little bit as that thing went on. Thank you. Thanks, Brian. Yeah, I feel at the moment in the first half we're just sort of waiting to see how the game's gonna kind of unfold, and we need to take the game by the you know the scruff of the neck and, and get after teams, especially here. And like you say, we yeah we. Maybe we should have been a bit more patient second half, moved the ball side to side, because I think it was causing them problems. They were getting tired. And I think we were just a bit impatient in getting the ball forward, you know, just ramming it down, you know, the attacking players' throats and maybe just go through the middle a little bit more and use myself and the pivots in there and just a bit more patience. I feel like we, we felt like the last 15, 20 minutes, we wanted to go and get that goal so badly. We just rushed things and there was plenty of time left in the game. You know, we, we've scored many late goals here at home and... We just got to be a little bit more patient, a little bit more quality around the box, and uh, yeah, just you know, finish it off. Really, at the end, we're, we're getting chances tonight. Maybe not so as much as the other games, but we're still getting into good areas. And I feel like, like I said in the change room today, we none of us are doing just quite enough right now. We we all need to step up and do a bit more because we've got nine cup finals now and to win this league. And you know, we we fancy ourselves to go and finish top of the West, but we need to do a little bit more. Go ahead, Brian, with the follow up. Yeah, I'm sorry. good, good, and good thing there. I want to kind of touch on too, Jack. Um, you know, is it hard to remain patient? Because you know, really, Toronto wasn't. They weren't going to take many chances. They weren't going to stretch themselves out. I mean, it's it's probably hard to remain patient. I imagine. Yeah. Yeah, it can be. But we need to realize now that teams are going to come here and sit in, maybe counter attack, and maybe even tonight they didn't really even look like they were going to hit us really on the counter attack. So we. I think these are the games we, it, it's funny to look at, you have to be more patient because you need to break that team down, you need to make them work side to side and tire them out because at the end of the day, if we're just forcing things, it's just, you know, it's easy for them. They're sitting in a low block of five at the back and we're not going to break teams down. And I feel, yeah, but, but you're right, it, it can get a little bit like, come on, come on, we need more, let's just go, go, go. But we've just got to be a little bit more patient and that needs to come from myself out there. Me, we need more voices out there and just to calm the lads down and keep the ball. Cause, we're in such a great position in the league and as a club right now, but there's still that disappointment and that feeling of, look where we could be if we just, these little finer details. But like I say, we're in a great place and uh, we've just got to keep fighting. We've got nine cup finals, like I say, and we're looking forward to the challenge, but we're still disappointed. We know we can do a lot better.